I printed a part, ready to be cleaned. Anycubic sent me their brand new wash and cure station. From what I understand, it's their new, new one. I know like nothing about these things other than the fact that they are used to clean and cure parts. So, it's supposed to make it a lot easier, which I already thought it was easy, but having a machine I'm sure is even easier. Oh, dude. Oh, oh, wow, I did not expect it to be aluminum. That metal like that. Wow, that's cool. Oh, look at you got all the UV lights there, for curing it. I almost don't want to touch this thing because it's so clean right now. Okay. I did it. Oh, that's smart. Having a nice tub like this to put the liquid and stuff in. Okay, a nice little cage. Okay, anyone who knows me, I'm a big magnet fan. This has magnets on the bottom of it. And if I'm to guess, when it's setting on top of this thing, oh yes, there's a magnetic motor in there that turns the fan to spin the liquid around. Now I'm gonna figure out how to assemble this thing. Super simple instructions. Let's see if we can set this thing up to clean the part. Is it one of those things that you don't really think you need until you have one? Because it's made by Anycubic and the Photon's also made by Anycubic, you can just take the stand piece right off the Photon printer and just set it right in the washing station, which is like awesome. We don't have enough. No, we don't. That would be super handy part. if you had a really big part. Yeah. Yeah, it's like this. Pull this up. Is the tray like so? And go in. Boop. Beautiful. You completely submerged. You had the perfect amount in there. So, and go on top of there, like that. Okay. So, it goes on the curing station like so. We turn it on. Okay, so now it's on wash. That's on cure. It's on wash. We're washing the part. It's the first step. And I think we just push down on this guy. It kind of sings. <laughs> huh? 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 That is cool. I think we're just gonna leave it for five minutes and come back because he's so cool. Oh, what's it doing now? It's slowing down. Oh, it's reversing. <laughs> nice. And that is definitely like really, really good, clean wise. So you can't really notice it too much on camera, but you can definitely feel it. It just comes out of the resin, it's all like slimy. And then once you clean the part, it feels really nice. And that's the feeling that you get with this guy. He is now done cleaning. And I saw in the instructions that you're not supposed to keep the cleaning fluid in the container. Store this. So there's my container and fluid. I'll set those aside. Yeah. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and take all the supports off the piece. So no matter how many times I do this, I always end up kind of bust a little bit off his stomach here and a little bit off his, his feet, uh, but that's okay. Paint will hide it. Okay, so now the next step would be to cure it, and usually what I do is I just jam it out in the sun, but it doesn't ever really cure very evenly, and if you have really flat parts, they can actually warp. So I'm really excited to try this thing because it looks like it spins the part around as it cures it, which is absolutely epic. Then there's a tray, a nice lovely clear tray that slips in there like a so, and the part goes on it. And then this now comes into use. Ooh, that's awesome. Okay, so now we're gonna put this on cure. I don't know how long it takes to cure, but if I was to do it in the sun, I'd set it out for like an hour. All right. Ooh, that's cool. So now he's just gonna sit there spinning for a good hour. Alrighty, it finished! And the reveal, dun dun dun! Ooh, <laughs> nice! Very exciting. Ooh, it's warm. Very cool, it looks really good. I'm still learning where to put supports. Um, but, as of cleaning, for cleaning this part, that was super simple. Super simple. That was easy peasy. Alright, so that wraps up this video. If you're interested in one of these washing cure stations, the 2.0 version is in the description. Thanks for watching. If you would like to help us out, you can like this video, share it, subscribe, or support us on Patreon. See the links in the description.